There's nothing quite like a flood of blockchain news to make you wonder, um, what's happening here? That's how I felt when I read about Grimes getting paid millions of dollars for NFTs, or Nine Cat being sold as one. At an auction, former Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey sold an NFT version of his first tweet for $2.9 million. Just setting up my Twitter, says the 2006 tweet. We're still reading about news from individuals spending house money for a rock clip art and my grandma has no idea what an NFT is. In today's video, we'll be discussing all you need to know about NFTs. Before we begin, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel to receive the best explainer videos about cryptocurrencies in the industry. What is an NFT? What does NFT stand for? NFT stands for non-fungible token. That doesn't make it any clearer, does it? Right, sorry. Well, the term fungible refers to something that can be replaced or exchanged equally well. For example, I take a $20 bill from you and give you another $20 bill because the two notes have the same value and you won't feel tricked. This is what is meant to be fungible. Non-fungible, on the other hand, refers to something that cannot be exchanged. A non-fungible thing cannot be replaced with another. It's a one of a kind. The Mona Lisa painting, for example, is a one of a kind work of art. There are no alternatives to knockoffs and fakes. Non-fungible items are those that are one of a kind. Non-fungible objects include paintings, drawings, music, and movies. So non-fungible tokens or NFT are one of a kind items on the blockchain. NFTs are similar to existing digital currencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin in many aspects. The reason for this is that NFTs are digital assets that run on a blockchain network. This assures that NFTs may be sent from one wallet to another in a quick, secure, and low-cost manner. NFTs are also transparently verifiable because they are built on top of a blockchain network. NFTs, on the other hand, differ from the aforementioned digital currencies in that each token is uniquely identified by a transaction hash. This simply means that no two NFTs are alike. So how does the Ethereum blockchain authenticate NFTs? The Ethereum blockchain network powers the majority of NFTs. If you still don't know what a blockchain is, don't worry, I'll explain it to you in layman terms. Cryptocurrencies like Ethereum and Bitcoin are built on a blockchain, which is a peer-to-peer -peer network that records online cryptocurrency transactions using advanced encryption methods. Using the blockchain, centralized institutions such as banks are no longer required. When someone gives or gets Bitcoin, for example, the transaction is recorded on a public ledger that employs massive amounts of processing power to ensure the transaction is valid. Having gotten that out of the way, let's talk about NFT's collections. This is where the frenzies take off. NFT collections are exactly what they sound like. They're a collection of NFTs. Eyes, hair, mouth, nose, shirt, and other base layers make up these NFT collections. These foundation layers are then merged to create a one-of-a-kind NFT. But what's interesting about this is that different base layers have varied rarities, such as a rare variety of hair. NFT's value is driven by their rarity and scarcity. This is one-of-a-kind NFT generation that can be done entirely online. You can even code it yourself if you're feeling confident. So, does anyone profit from NFTs? First, for creators, musicians, artists, and videographers fall into this category. They can mint or upload their one-of-a-kind work on NFT marketplaces like OpenSea, Rarible, and Binance NFT. They can then select a price at which the NFT will be sold after minting. NFTs can be sold at a set price or at an auction. The term fixed pricing refers to a price at which the NFT will be sold. The final selling price at an auction is set to a bidding procedure. Only a starting price would be set by the creator and individuals would bid for a given amount of time and then the NFT is awarded to the highest bidder. Secondly, for non-creators. This pertains to persons who lack artistic abilities such as the ability to draw, paint, sing or design. Trading NFTs can still be profitable. Trading and investing in NFTs like cryptocurrency necessitates researching to assess certain criteria to establish if an NFT has future potential. For everyone investing in an NFT, including creators and non-creators, these metrics must be explained. This is essentially how to do your NFT research. Guy of the Coin Bureau on YouTube created this method or framework. Here are some indicators to be aware of. Number 1. Community This is an important consideration before purchasing an NFT collection. It's crucial to look at the project's online interaction, particularly on platforms like Twitter, Discord, and Telegram. A project with a higher level of interaction and followers is often a favorable sign for the project's overall value. This is because it demonstrates that there's a huge demand for the NFT in that collection. 
indicating that there is a market for NFTs to be sold. After all, so many people are willing to acquire them. In a nutshell, it offers adequate liquidity. If you have an NFT collection with little to no community, you'll have a hard time selling them. Number 2. The Founding Team the NFT collections team is likewise quite essential. They have a significant impact on the collection's worth. Matt Furry, for example, created the Pepe the Frog cartoon, which later became a meme. He posted his Sad Frog's distinct collection on OpenSea in August 2021 with 7,000 frog pictures. According to Vice, Sad Frog's district had $4 million in trade volume in less than a week, with a median price of $450 in Ether per Sad Frog. Without the founder's credibility, this degree of trading activity and high valuation would not be conceivable. This is a common criterion for cryptocurrency acceptance. Nevertheless, the Base C team is completely anonymous. They have strange names for each other. It appears to be working for them, as Base C is now one of the most valuable collections in the world. Number 3. Art Now, as unreasonable as art appraisal may appear, it is not so. There are a few criteria that go into determining whether or not a piece of art is worth it. If art is appreciated unreasonably, then nearly anything can be highly prized. The same holds for NFTs. Most art pieces that have sold for millions of dollars such as Van Gogh, Picasso and others have specific characteristics that make them valuable. Rarity reigns supreme for NFTs. For example, the Bored Ape Yacht Club BAYC, contains 172 AI-generated Bored Apes NFTs that are individually assigned. One of the reasons why Bored Apes are so useful is because of this. Number 4. Trading Metrics this is the amount of trading that takes place in the NFT collection. A high trade volume is generally regarded as a positive indicator, as it indicates both a high degree of liquidity and a high level of trading activity. It's critical to make sure the supply matches the number of holders, a solid supply to demand ratio, the supply of NFTs is usually fixed, BAYC has 10,000 and CryptoKitties has 2 million. To establish the supply to demand ratio, you must first determine the number of holders. BAYC has 10,000 NFTs on OpenSea and 6,200 owners resulting in a supply-to-demand ratio of 1.61 NFTs per person. This is advantageous because if someone holds all of their NFTs, the value of the complete NFT collection would not be affected. The collection of 10,000 NFTs with 200 owners, on the other hand, has a supply-to-demand ratio of 50 per owner. This is harmful because a single sale can depreciate the entire collection's worth. Number 5. Roadmap the various stages of the project, milestones, deadlines are all included in the cryptocurrency project roadmap. The project lifetime is essentially contained inside it. It's critical to examine the roadmap for the NFT collection you're considering to purchase. It also demonstrates how the project seeks to increase acceptance and improve the collection's image, offering free NFTs in exchange for current ones, exclusive membership for long-term holders, access to launch pads and NFT staking are all examples of actions that can boost the project's future worth. Finally, it's vital to remember that a roadmap is nothing more than a story. Even scam projects have them. It's not until milestones are reached that such a plan is considered reliable. There are many things we didn't discuss in this video such as NFT games like Axie Infinity, Sandbox and others. I also resisted discussing NFTs in the metaverse. The NFT space is still relatively new, yet it has the potential to not only transform the art world, but also to be at the front of the metaverse's emergence. According to Morning Brew, overall NFT sales $41 million nearly equal total global sales of $50 million in 2021. That's enormous. Expect a significant increase in growth as NFTs find additional applications in the metaverse. What fascinates you the most about NFTs? Let's have your thoughts in the comments section below. We hope you found this video entertaining and if you give us a thumbs up, that would really be fantastic. Here's a reminder to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for more of this. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more on Cryptocurrency Explained. Goodbye.